Phase one of Las Vegas' transformation into a major league city is done. The National Hockey League has opened up a store in the city. Phase two, opening a store for the National Football League. And Mark Davis's Oakland Raiders franchise may be far more complicated. After all, politicians have to eventually approve a spending bill of anywhere between a half billion to a billion dollars to help pay for the stadium that will be minimally backed by casino owner Sheldon Adelson's money. Adelson is throwing in about $100 million. Nevada elected officials have not been given all the specifics, and there is a probability that the Nevada state officials won't tackle the issue until 2017. Adelson has persuaded Davis to seriously consider Las Vegas as the next new home for the franchise. The public portion of Adelson's proposal would come from a motel hotel sales tax hike. Davis would kick in as much as a half billion dollars. Adelson and Davis seem to have a major ally in the South Nevada Tourism Infrastructure Committee, which seems to be just an advisory board. That committee, though, has come up with an alternate proposal that lowers public funding, leaving Davis a bit disappointed. Another sticking point in the ritual dance between a team owner and a municipality wanting to become a major league city is opposition, and this plan has a major obstacle getting MGM Resorts International on board. There are other problems, starting with where would a stadium go? Las Vegas has the NHL, which many sports journalists think is little more than a semi-pro operation, not like the National Football League. Hockey, of course, is so much more an international sport than football, which is a plus for an international location like Las Vegas. But the NFL will be there if the big money people can figure out how to use taxpayers' money for their show. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.